is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So, interestingly enough, we have some very, very possibly big news, right? I mean, this is that type of information that just makes you say, what the hell, right? That's basically that in a nutshell. You guys know we've been talking about the potential of this game kind of going to like a PlayStation Plus free game of the month, etc, etc. Well, it seems like we got some interesting inside information from a dude supposedly over in the mythical lands of Twitter. So we're going to be talking about that stuff. But on top of that, with the update that we got, of course, the most recent update, it seems like people are finding out more cool secret features that have been added into there that the devs haven't actually stated is possible to do and then we're going to be talking about the fact that there's give or take like five days left as I'm making this video until we get the first ever DLC on top of that by the time this video goes live today we will have the last I guess market reset right until this DLC so basically we'll find out about cloning labs as well and I mean, that's just like a, a never-ending loophole, right? But we got tons of stuff to talk about. As always, let's try and crush 9 likes. Go ahead and click that big red subscribe button below if you are just genuinely excited for the future of this Avengers game and most importantly are interested in that. And hey, it's a really cool thing to do. But let's dive into the information that I know is going to be the biggest one because it's one that just has shocked everyone. Now, this tweet comes from a guy who goes by the name Anchorman V2. Now, you guys can see this on screen, and this person just simply tweeted, Marvel's Avengers is coming to Game Pass, hashtag insider. Now, here's the problem, okay? There's two things that are really, really crucial with this. A, I mean, we're just going on a basis that this dude is possibly an insider. We don't know if he's literally an insider himself, or he's got the information from like a third party source who is an insider, so that's kind of like a, a grey area, I guess you could say, right? Second of all, I mean, when it comes down to just sources in general, we don't know who Anchor Man is, all right? At least I don't know who Anchor Man is, but it seems like a lot of people in this thread are really, really taken to what he is saying, which is really interesting. Like I said, I could be completely oblivious to this dude, but as far as I'm aware, I don't know if he has, you know, a good track record in that perspective or what, right? But nonetheless, this has people talking, and it's one thing that just makes you say what, right? Because here's the thing, we know Square Enix and Sony have a special relationship. So me going on my theory that I've been talking about for the last couple of weeks, right? Saying that, hey, I guarantee you that this game will be like a free-to-play game at one point, possibly the next 12 months, right? And especially when it comes down to Spider-Man, they're probably going to do something there. But the fact that this could possibly be coming to Game Pass would be very, very interesting. Now, interesting more so because Game Pass is, of course, just Xbox related. So, that being said, it kind of leads to that confusion. Would that actually be a thing? Is that even possible? Would it even be a good thing for the game? Considering that, I mean, when you look at statistics, right, it's, it's there, okay? It's there that this game has more players on the PlayStation console as opposed to the Xbox console. So, in that perspective, I can see where they would be working, right? To just get more Xbox users on their side to try and get you guys who are on Xbox to purchase the... Well, purchase whatever it may be from the marketplace, right? So, would that be a smart move? Yes. I mean, we've all been saying that this game going free, right? At some point within the next 12 months would actually be a smart thing to do. Just, you know, purely because it's a, it's a games as a service game. And at this moment in time, the way it's going, this is a way to kind of revive that player base. So, yes, it would make sense. But, again, it, it just has me feeling super weird about the whole situation. So, I wanted to share it with you guys because I want you to get in the comments below. And let me know your honest, I guess, opinion on this, right? How realistic do you think this would be? And do you even think it would benefit the game or do you think it could harm the game even more? Like I said, we purely have no other source of evidence for this tweet. 
tweets, right? Which is basically, as far as I'm aware, going off a tweet and there's like over 400 people and hundreds of peoples in that thread that are just literally going along with this. So I have no idea what's going on, but it definitely has a lot of people talking. Now the next thing is what was in the recent update. Now, if you guys didn't know, yes, when you're playing as Captain America, you can actually reflect uh, beams, right? Like if you're being shot at or whatever it may be. Now, interestingly enough, it was a situation if you're playing co-op that people would try and do like Iron Man's laser beam, right, to reflect off Captain America's shield, and I'm pretty sure, like 99.9% .9 sure, that it didn't work like this, as you've seen in the background of this video that Miller actually tweeted from the Reddit user who goes by the name Rideout2016, but as far as I'm aware, it was not as simultaneously as this if it was a thing but this is definitely absolutely 100% has to be a new feature because I know there's tons of people out there that were genuinely trying this multiple times to just see if it would work and it didn't actually work so if you haven't tried this out with a buddy definitely go and do so it is insanely fun and yes it just makes the combat a whole lot more fun and enjoyable as a whole so you just don't want to miss out on giving this a shot even if it was a glitch right just go ahead and take advantage of it because it is a ton of fun now the last thing of course is like i said today being you know the last market reset are we getting cloning less but most importantly the kate bishop dlc it's officially happening right so 8th of december we now know we are 101 percent getting this update they've created new discord channels the logos have changed and all that kind of stuff so it is 100 percent going down now, the question is, are they actually relying on Kate Bishop way too much than we think? Now, you guys know that I've been talking about this in the last couple of videos, right? That I, as a you know player, from my perspective, never really gave, uh, I guess, any care for this DLC character when it comes down to Kate Bishop. Like, it wasn't on my list. I couldn't really care in that perspective. But after we saw the gameplay and the combat and all that kind of stuff, that's when I genuinely realized, like, hey... Even though this might be, you know, a character that I'm not excited for, this definitely seems really cool to do. And it's something new in the game, it's new content, so yes, I'm excited. But, of course, like I said, the question is, are these devs now relying too much on this? Now, to give an answer from my opinion, a simple answer, it would be no. But are they relying on it to kind of just show what they have in store for the game? Yes, and when I say that, I just mean it has to have a smooth rollout, it has to be fun right at the beginning, they can't go ahead and keep tweaking DLCs, right? So, as soon as this DLC drops, it needs to be running smoothly, it needs to be enjoyable, and it can't feel repetitive. And if it does tick all three boxes, then hey, I think we're in a good position, because then we can say we actually now know how these devs are working and the fact that this DLC was smooth with the rocky launch as well of the game that hey they've actually kind of figured this out right especially from working from home so taking that into consideration we then can be way more excited for the future content but just also knowing what they're capable of doing with the resources they have at this moment in time but guys that's going to wrap up this video here as always subscribe for more awesome content and i'll see you in the next one till then have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day and adios amigos